Hariyum, Hariyum to all of you. And today we are here uh, for a three-day workshop uh, just to remind ourselves that there are so many colleges, so many universities are there, so many institutes are there, so many diploma programs are there, so many technical institutes are there in the country. But we belong to the Chinmaya family. How does that make a difference? That's what we are going to see. Are we different? We call our schools as a schools with a difference. Fad, we call it a swad. We say school with a difference. We say that. Are we colleges with a difference? We got to see now whether we are also colleges with a difference. What are we doing differently in our colleges? What is it that we can do? If you really, really want to uh, become a true Chinmaya college or a true Chinmaya education institution, what is it that we need to do? We are just going to take a look at it in this three day sessions. They are very, very planned and organized for you. And it will be very interactive when you are interacting using the chat box. Okay. So I want all of you to keep your hands on the chat box now. And I want you to say Hari Om there so that I'm sure that you have a hand. Your accessibility to the chat box is very clear. We are going to interact through the chat box. Yes. Shweta ma'am is the first one to say Hari Om. Thank you, Shweta ma'am, and the rest of you following you. We have 148 participants. Uh, some of them have mentioned that they are not able to join. They'll be joining a little late. But the best benefit will be you attend all the sessions which has been designed. We have given enough gaps in between so that you don't get tired. Your eyes are not, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, stressed too much. Everything being taken care. And we will go through these sessions. Interacting. At the end of the session, we want to know all of you also. We want to know you. How, what is your expertise in the field of education? What is it that you are doing? We are going to take a call on that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for a very nice hurry home from everybody. Okay. Now, first is we are the first session is on about the education movement of Chinmaya Mission. I don't know whether you are aware of it, whether what is it aware. Can we just quickly go through and uh, see what is the Chinmaya education movement all about? Before that, I'm going to ask you something. Don't worry. This is not a quiz question and don't feel bad that Pam is asking questions. I never thought, you know, the session is going to be like this. We will be start answering questions and all of it. Just don't worry. Just relax and chill. But I thought I'll just get to know about what is your awareness on our movement, education movement. You can talk about it later. But about our founder, our Gurudev Pujya, Gurudev Swami Chinmayananda. What is it that we know about him? That's what I want to know here. So I want you to type in the chat box, what is the original name of uh, Swami Chinmayananda when he was a child? What was his name? Anybody can uh, put it in the chat box. Just, it's just like we are actually, if you don't know, it's okay. Don't worry. Balakrishna man and Rajesh says, very good. Thank you, sir. Is a Balakrishna man and was his childhood name. And any idea what was his parents' name? Anybody who can give the parents' name? Uh, Balakrishna Manan is coming now. I want, I'm asking you, what are the parents of Balakrishna Manan? Parukutti Amma is known as Parukutti Amma. And father is Kuttan Manan. Kuttan Manan. So first, let me go through. I just asked you just to keep you, you know, when you are participating, it makes a lot of difference. Otherwise, you will be listening one side. So I'm going to share a presentation talking about the Chinmaya education movement. So first and foremost in a Chinmaya education moment is knowing about our founder that is the most important thing we all know, need to know about it you know how, how many of you know you must you all must be there must be lecturers here teaching history you know your schools and do you, it is so wonderful to learn the history of a country it is so wonderful in our own houses we want to know about our grandfather grandparents we know want to know where do we belong to what is the lineage where do we come from isn't it interesting to uh, you know know from your mother mommy or papa grandpapa kaisa tha, kya kar rahe the, what was he doing what was the you know what is his name and which was the place all that we ask the same way being in the chinmaya organization first and foremost is we need, need to know very well about our puja gurudev swami Chinmayananda, who's the founder of the uh, Chinmaya mission. And so we are going to go through quickly two slides talking about it. Gurudev was born on the 18th of May, 1916. Note down the dates and days. See, how do we remember our birthdays? So it is our Gurudev's birthday because of whom we exist. These colleges exist, the schools exist, and we exist because of the, he has created such a beautiful uh, organization. So he was born on 8th May at 1916 at in the state of in Kerala, 
uh, Ernakulam. He was born in Ernakulam, Kerala. And his parents were Parukutti Amma and Kutan Manan. We will be exchanging, asking in between once in a while what are we, we are learning. If you have a notepad, you want to note down, you can note down. But don't worry about writing too much. Just pay attention. This entire recording will be shared to you. His childhood name was Balakrishna Manan. And he studied in schools. Which are the schools he studied? He studied in Rama Varma High School in Kochi and Vivek Kodayam School in Trishur. These are the two schools, the primary education in Rama Varma High School, Kochi. And then he went on to Trishur. And then later he studied in Ernakulam Maharaja College and then again went to St. Thomas College, Trishur. And he studied post-graduation in literature and law in the Lucknow University. And very, very importantly, he participated in the Quit India movement. He was a part of the freedom fight movement in which India, he participated in our freedom movement. And he was a national a journalist in National Herald magazine. He studied journalism, literature and all of that. And he had an exceptional skill in language, English language. And he became a journalist in National Herald magazine. And he studied Vedanta from Swami Shivananda Maharaja Rishikesh. And he received Diksha as Swami Chinmayananda. And later studied from Tapon Maharaj at Uttarkashi. His first Ajna he conducted it at Ganesh Temple at Pune. He founded Chinmaya Mission in 1953, Chennai. And he left this physical form in, uh, in San Diego, California at the age of 77 years. I'm just going to stop sharing this. I'm just going to share couple of experiences of my own with Puja Gurudev. Puja Gurudev, you know, he was, he was a very, very dynamism at the best. He used to be writing very strongly against the British in the magazine when he was a uh, editor of the magazine. And he was, you know, it caught the eyes of the Britishers. And they said there's a, this young boy who's writing against, he's throwing pamphlets and all of that. Gurudev went to Delhi. He said his interest in the freedom movement was so high. He said, I have to be in Delhi for, you know, participating in this. He was in Delhi and writing it, you know, very strongly. And he used to write a lot of other things also. He used to observe human a lot. He has written about a, a mochiwala who, you know, who mends the shoes. He used to write about the postman, all of that. He used to observe human being also a lot. And, but it caught the eyes of the Britishers and they put him in the prison. And in the prison, he used to go through a lot of magazines and all that. And then he said, what is this people doing spiritual? They are selling spiritually, spirituality to people. He said, I'm going to show, unveil them and show that they are all people just making money and there's nothing like God or anything. And like that, he decided that once I come out, I'm going to do this. This was the, this was the, uh, you know, commitment he had taken when he was in jail, when he was reading these magazines. And that time the, the prison had a lot of issues. People used to die because of getting, they were getting fever. They were not taken care properly. And the people outside the jail was, you know, having an um, uh, andolan. They were shouting, why our people are dying inside the prison? Why you are not taking care and all of that. And then they saw this uh, Balakrishna Manan also was having high temperature, almost at the verge of, you know, losing his life. So Britishers thought, let it not become one more death in the prison. So they just threw his body in the street behind the jail and then they left him on the road. And there, one lady who saved Gurudev and nurtured him, nursed him and brought him to life back. And Gurudev says that, you know, why am I alive here? Because of my nose. Because that lady said, I have a son whose nose is some, some similar to Gurudev's nose. That is why I saved this young man lying on the road. So Gurudev used to speak, you know, when his discourses time, he say, my nose saved me. He used to say that. And then she nursed him. And the moment she, he became all right, he said, I have to go to Shivananda Maharaja Ashram. I am going to now see that. I'm going to find out what is all about the spirituality. When he went there, Shivananda Maharaja said, oh, you have come, please come. It was almost like he was expecting him. And then he said, I have come to interview you. I'm, I want to write in my magazine. I'm an editor. So he said, doesn't matter. You stay here for some time and then we will go about all that you want to know. I'll tell you. And then he stayed in the ashram, Shivananda ashram, Ridwar, and he saw that he was a doctor by profession, Shivanand Maharaj. And the way he was taking care of patients, midnight, all he was used to give free treatment to people. He was so caring. In the, during the daytime, he used to teach Vedanta. Then Gurudev's completely perception changed. He said, what am I thinking as these people are dongis? 
but they are really, really serving the society. And then he went to Shivanand Maharaj. I have come. I have come here to learn Vedanta from you. I have understood my purpose of coming here. It was something very, very uh, different. But now I have realized I want to be a student of yours. So Shivanand Maharaj says, take permission from your father. And then he takes permission from his father. And he becomes a student of uh, Shivananda Maharaj. And Shivananda Maharaj gives him Diksha on one of the Shivaratri days as Shivanand Swami Chinmayananda. That is why Chami, that is how Swami Chinmayananda was born. And after the, he gave Diksha, Shivananda Maharaj says, you have to go to Himalayas and study under Tapovan Maharaj. Go there and study. He will give you the best of knowledge. Vedanta is an authority in that. And those days, no uh, trains and no travel, uh, you know, comforts were there. Gurudev went traveling from Haridwar to Himalayas, traveling all the way. Cold weather. He did not have much to wear properly. A simple two, you know, sets of clothes. And he used to cover himself and go all the way to Himalayas. When he went, Tapon Maharaj asked, did you bring a letter from Shivanand Maharaj? Where is the letter? Go and get it. And then he comes, travels all the way back in that cold. He used to have one banana a day. And he come, comes back and then he says, Shivanand Maharaj, Taponji wants a letter from you. So Tapon Maharaj says, oh, did he ask for it? Okay, take it. And then he gives a letter. He travels back all over again to Tapon Maharaj. And then he goes there and gives the letter. So Tapon Maharaj did not even take the letter. He says, okay, put it in your pocket. Just it was a test to see whether he has the commitment to study Vedanta. Tapon Maharaj, you know, he did that. And then he stayed with Tapon Maharaj. And Gurudev, many discourses he has conducted. There are so many things he has shared about Shivanand Maharaj. But whenever anybody asks about, can you share something about Tapon Maharaj? He will simply close his eyes. Tears will go through him, his eyes. He says he is an experience. He is a Lord himself. That's how he used to talk about Tapon Maharaj. He said he used to simply meditate all the time. He's Lord Shiva himself. That is what Gurudev has mentioned about Tapon Maharaj. And after some time studying for two years, he learned Vedanta. He said, I want to go down now to the plains and spread this knowledge. So many people do not have this knowledge. I want to spread this knowledge. Tapon Maharaj says, okay, you want to go? You go. But remember, you belong to Himalayas. You have to come back to Himalayas. He says that. And then that's how Gurudev comes down. 25 paise in his pocket, he comes and arrives at Pune and the Ganesh temple. He conducts the first Ajna. And there were three people listening to him. The first, he himself, one organizer, one of the Kovil temple person. In the morning, he used to go in the streets of Pune. You know, take a cycle and go in the streets of Pune and say, there is a young sadhu has come from Himalayas. He is going to talk on Vedanta. Please come, please one and all, please come. Handwrite posters, brochures and throw it in the streets and come back. And in the evening, he used to sit on the uh, seat of the Guru seat, the, the, the Guru Peetam and talk about Vedanta. And other people say, oh, this was the boy who was throwing posters in the morning. The same person, like that day used to live. It was a very young boy. And that is how he started. He started talking in English. People were against it. But he said, no, this knowledge has to go to all people. The people, he said, the people who are the middle class people in our country are the ones who are completely ignoring our scriptures. I want to make them realize what is the treasure in Bhagavad Gita? What is the treasure in Upanishads? So he started conducting lectures. The first Gita Yajna he conducted in that Puna temple went for 90 days, three months. But the end of one month, the crowd was fully there. The packed, or the packed audience in the temple, more than 1,000 people were sitting in the crowd. And three people talked, talking about this, a completely fluent in Vedanta and in simple language. And people became, you know, simply started becoming a fan of Gurudev. He was known as the way he conducts discourses. Then that the history started making, he started going to various places, conducting yajna, discourses. And in 1953, the Chennai devotees said, we must start a Chinmaya mission. That's how the Chinmaya mission came into existence in 1953. He had he started traveling abroad and he used to say, I travel abroad because our Indian people are all looking on that side towards America. So if I speak them from there, they will really like it. It's so true. When did we start doing yoga in our schools and colleges? 
after america started doing international yoga day we all woke up that was our treasure we never we never utilized it we never used it properly and the western countries are doing uh, some country some true school in uh, uk is doing om chanting uh, then everybody is waking up in india om chanting is good so gurudev that day only said I, I i went to abroad only to make our people understand that people there also you know follow love spirituality and then after some time he realized when i'm doing these lectures a lot of people are coming here and going back but no there is no transformation that is happening to people here so he decided i am going to start schools get children at a very 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 young age and start schools that is how chinmaya education movement started the first school came in kollangur kerala a lot of kerala people are all here your state was the first state where gurudev first started his own school he started in kollangur in chinmaya vidyalaya that's how the education movement started but later part i'm i'm just going to share with you because i have had the opportunity being in jamshedpur he has visited jamshedpur twice he has visited twice in my time when i was there and i have met him he has spoken to us he has addressed teachers you know 50 teachers in a hall and gurudev sat there and addressed us and he spoke to us so you know he asked us this question what is the qualification for becoming a teacher and i think i was the one who was sitting in the first row jumping with the, you know and i told beard gurudev ahmed gurudev all that i said and he smiled at me he smiled at me and said if you are able to love children you can come into this profession that is the eligibility condition for being a teacher he said that i still remember vividly remember that and that's how he he used to address teachers and we used to get letters you know our school has got 75% all children passed in 75% and we used to write letters to him he used to reply why only 20% of children getting 75% i am waiting for the day when all children are getting above 90% in our vidyalaya with his own hand writing he would send a mail to us we still have treasure all of that so it's a great thing anybody meeting gurudev would transform for li- your lifetime that is that's what i have experienced it in my life then i was introduced I, i was told that i they have 46 years of experience in this field believe me it was gurudev with whose strength is the beliefs that he has shared the lectures he has done our acharyas our teachers who are conducting sessions that is what has made me whatever i am today after 44 years i am working very closely with cbsc i am doing a lot of work in the field of education it's because it was when i was a young teacher when i started as a mathematics teacher it was gurudev whom i met and gurudev what his his philosophy of education was completely absorbed myself into that that is what has the changes and i have to tell you one thing as you are all sitting here you are not here in the chinmaya institutions by accident you are not here by accident you are here because you have done some divine karma in the past that you have been here i have to say that once you feel worthy of whatever you have got i'm sure you will really really treasure it and get to know about the mission and the organizations very well and later gurudev had a lot of work he used to travel he used to tire himself conduct lectures workshops write letters and it was last he conducted attended the annual day program at the uh, chinmaya vidyalaya tirunelveli youpet chinmaya vidyalaya tirunelveli he was very unwell he was not well but when he used to he went there and during the program he sat there and in between he used to go and take oxygen and come back and sit in the hall and when the when the lecture finished all children gathering him around wanting photograph autograph and the take all of that and gurudev did everything patiently went and got admitted into the icu because he became very very sick later he want uh, he was taken to us for treatment he went to california in san jose in a hospital he was taken and we were all praying i remember in chamshedpur in mahavidyalaya we were praying giving the uh, uh, the shlokas and chanting for gurudev's well being and we were doing all of that mrtyunjay japa was done by children and all of that but we got this news on in august th- on august 3rd 1993 he faced his physical death it was a shock to all of us everybody all we all became as though we have become without you know as if we lost our own father or mother i still remember gurudev said i have want my body to be in himalayas i have tapon ji said you belong to himalayas so i want my body to be kept in siddhbadi his body was dropped by a flight and it was brought to delhi from there it was taken to siddhbadi the picture in the newspaper 
or when he, his body arrived in delhi it is it is something you you one has to you have to believe me when i say that only heads were seen in the delhi airport all crowded with the people around in the airport are outside the airport and inside the airport everybody standing there with tears in their eyes and he was brought and he was kept in siddh body the siddh body we feel that his presence is there that is where his body is lying is there in that in one time in once in your lifetime as a chinmaya teacher you should go visit siddh body have your after this pandemic opens and feel feel the presence of gurudev i will tell you you will have a complete transformation of not just a teacher or a lecturer or a professor i am a doctorate you will see that i i am a devotee of gurudev this feeling will happen to you when you go there this is something about the life of gurudev i wanted to share with you and he still is is there he is there and the rest peace in samadhi at siddhapat now to talk about this was the philosophy of gurudev he said let us bring the best from the west and east our own culture should be there and says gurudev said why not we do that that was a very purpose the college is west i just want you to listen to this one two minutes video it is not a youth movement it is creating the great leaders of jamal who have got not only the mental sagacity to be a leader but also a real vision in themselves what and how you are going to accomplish that is your freedom why should i interfere with you my job is done you know, i can communicate to you the vision of the future but how in what in those available circumstances what would be the diplomatic method by which you are reaching it that is not for me to do I just will go over it and all that to give you and supply my youth in my country a great vision and supply them in a material that their own faith in themselves is not shaken whatever be the circumstances that come around such heroes we have to create and that is what we are doing so that was our gurudev so the first school started in kollangod i'm going to quickly go through the uh, education movement 1965 and gurudev mentioned this letter that he has mentioned about what is the vision see his vision uh, as you see what uh, the vision he has given what the vision is about you can see can somebody tell me uh, what is gurudev has mentioned about his own vision what what is the it's 10 o'clock precisely the vision he has mentioned very very clearly about giving the youth the mental sagacity the values are the the uh, very aim of gurudev starting educational institutions nothing else he has never mentioned that you should produce engineers or doctors or scientists or anything he has said let them go and serve the society as you are running colleges it's for you to evaluate are we doing that it's what we have to evaluate you have to evaluate make a study of your own alumni and check what they are doing are they socially good they are good human beings are they serving the society after passing out of our colleges and what is the focus that is given in the college when they are in the college you may be teaching something i understand academics is very important but academic information alone cannot fulfill the vision of gurudev he talks very clearly about how providing values to them their values are going to be the main main objective of the chinmaya institutions so you need to take a look at that and the chinmaya vidyalayas grew up in a very big way it started in 1965 but uh, you can see that they grew up in uh, leaps and bounds and slowly we had in by 2020 we have almost 100 institutions are there and the uh, the different states also i'm just showing you all of these pictures to get an idea of about your own organization where you belong to we have the vidyalayas distribution and distribution across the different boards of schools these are all about the schools we are having and the community growths of the chinmaya schools you can see that they are now standing at almost colleges this is about the cumulative growth of chinmaya colleges 1975 colleges started and today we have nine colleges across the country 
this is a beautiful thing and we also have mission schools there are non chinmaya schools who are signing up with us for uh, taking the value education value based education that we offer there are so many schools not just the schools in india the sri lanka schools have now we are conducting chinmaya mission program sessions for all the government has asked us to conduct sessions for all the girls sri lanka schools now we have a uh, uh, recently the manipur and the assam government is asking us to take chinmaya vision program to the the schools there so there's a lot of the people have realized this teaching academics is not that difficult you know because today there is so much of information available through media children will learn through media their media is available but values is the very very strong base that will be a make the nation strong that is what is missing so we have the sabo uh, navodaya schools have approached us for uh, taking the value education program to them we need to understand the value education program is in the need for the society today and so later schools started starting and the so many centers started starting schools but gurudev mentioned there should be a body the chinmaya education cell should be formed the ccmt mumbai will be monitoring all these schools and the colleges that system was brought in a common policy was brought in by gurudev and the education cell the genesis of education cell happened in 1988 when swami ji gurudev himself asked swami samvidananda he asked swami nan samvidananda to go to the schools and find out how the schools are running giving him a feedback about the schools she used to visit our school i have met swami ni samvidananda she was a lecturer in a college in uh, gujarat and she served uh, in our chinmaya mission as a education uh, executive of education and she used to go to the schools and, and give a report to gurudev and later swami nivimlananda who has done a miraculous contribution to the chinmaya education movement took over as a member of the ccmt education cell and she also founder of the chinmaya vision program the backbone of the chinmaya education cell and uh, we started the chinmaya education cell in uh, in it started in uh, coimbatore and the first uh, Sh professor shivaram ayer who became the the administrator she took uh, vimla nanda amma to him in 1996 to help take him take the mission education movement forward and we had swami uh, ramani tyagaraj in 2010 to 2017 she also served as an assessor and administrator and uh, this is uh, i have been with the education cell in 2009 i am one of the boldest member of the chinmaya education cell i have been i have done written the assessment models for the schools we have a assessment model where we have inspect uh, school inspections conducted and i was also given as a director of cvp from swami nivimla nanda amma to take over in 2016 and 2018 when swami ni amma decided to spend her time in sadhana i have been uh, given uh, taken over as the director of the chinmaya education cell till 2000 from 2018 and during swami ni amma's time she brought out this beautiful program called as the chinmaya vision program the workshop that we are going to go through today and tomorrow and day after is about the chinmaya vision program it It was tried in one of the schools in Coimbatore, and in the presence of Pujya Guruji and Swami Niyama, this is Sri Variyarji, who is a big uh, supporter of Chinmaya Mission in Coimbatore. It was formalized and it was launched. CVP was launched in the year 1996 after Guru Dev took Maha Samadhi in 1993, and. the 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 immediately after launching it swami ni amma visited the, all the schools she conducted workshops for the principals she conducted workshops for the teachers she met the parents and that is how cvp came into becoming the driving force of all our schools so what is this chinmaya vision program it has got four very important pillars one is the integrated development under integrated development we have the physical development mental development intellectual development spiritual development and then we have indian culture patriotism and universal outlook these are the seven aspects of the cvp program and four pillars are integrated development indian culture uh, patriotism and universal outlook these are the seven aspects of cvp we are going to go through session on all the seven sessions we are going to go through from today to tomorrow you will understand with all about it very in a detailed manner i'm not going to talk about it now but in very briefly a person every human being has got four layers of personality at the physical level is a physical layer at the mind level mind layer, the mental level or the emotional level and the intellectual level and the spiritual level all four layers need to be developed in a person for becoming a holistic personality development happen 
if somebody is very weak physically if his intellect is very strong he will not be of any use to the society same way if he is emotionally weak he is not emotionally he is taking decisions he cannot be a leader he cannot use his intellectual development and top of the four is the spiritual development spirituality makes a human being as a human everybody as a human being otherwise sometimes when we do not handle emotions properly we resemble animals so you are a human being spirituality gives you the identity as a human being human being a human is itself lies on the spiritual development very important for the children you need to revisit after this workshop i want all of you to think about it revisit how you can bring in all of this into your classrooms while teaching mathematics can i have some mental development exercises can i do some intellectual that is what we have to think spirit cvp is not a program or as an attachment it has to be embedded into whatever we do you are celebrating independence day you have to see how i can bring in cvp into that you are celebrating a maths uh, expo in the school or you are celebrating a maths assessment paper how the question paper can address the see chinmaya vision program into it we have a solid structure we can give you training this is the first start i am doing after 2 3 years we are first venturing into the college teachers but we can work very very closely so that we can bring in making it a true chinmaya vidyalaya that's very very important Indian culture. Guru Dev was fond of our culture. He said we have have to have our root in our Indian culture. The practices, the traditions, the values of our Indian culture are so amazing. You see, today we are all talking about Corona, washing hands and washing with soap. So much is being talked about. You know how our houses used to be. I don't know how many of you have seen it. I have seen in my our own villages and the, my hometown. in the entrance there will be a small place where there will be a bucket of water will be kept and a mug will be there we have to wash our feet then only enter the house have you seen it or not can you put it in the chat box how many of you have seen it in our old houses and all of that we call it as a you know place in between the center of the hall there will be a bucket of water kept and then you know we have to wash our feet and only go inside yes correct you see it was there these practices were there we have ignored it going into the modern style of living we have completely ignored all of that Uh, how much of we used to have you know i used to say stomach pain and my mummy used to make something with the jeera and the methi uh, you know and then fenugreek and she'll give it to me and i'll drink it and then i'll become all right right have you seen home medicines at home home remedies at home you can write yes home remedies were available if you believe in whatever i'm saying endorsing it there's so much of things were there now today everybody is talking about haldi and kaba sura kudi neer all of that has come what is all of that this is all in our culture it was in our traditions we used to we used to have our parents saying things and we used to believe in that and they used to say don't do this it's not good we used to say papam and punyam and that itself we understood and we never did certain thing when i you know i was brought up in a home where i had a joint family my mother will say somebody coming to the house go give him water purposely because we will learn that culture of atithi devo bhava giving them water giving them respect doing pranams to them touching their feet so it's all our tradition it's all going away because we did not follow the culture absolutely think about it more and more you think about more and more you'll realize what was the practices in our culture so indian culture everybody is coming back to it now indian culture whatever we are doing chanting when you are talking about the spiritual development we are talking about breathing deep breathing now today you see during corona time everybody is doing yoga everybody is doing pranayama true or not tell me why they have understood oxygen intake good that means your body can immunity systems are better in the body but that was there in the practice there what is gayatri japa people used to do gayatri japa holding this nose and then do it because you have fresh oxygen going into the body our culture our culture think about it you are handling adolescent children you have to make them understand with strong evidences that this is good our culture is not superstition they are dis discarding it saying it is superstition this is all going to be dealt in indian culture and patriotism gurudev was a we participated in the freedom movement our children should know about our country if you are teaching history give them the the curriculum the book may say something which may not be you know inspiring but you use your own videos you use your own ideas to inspire children that yes this is my country i have to i have to serve this country love for the nation is a very very positive thing in the for children you know it makes out removes lot of other things lot of negativities when the mind will be removed when they feel the belongingness to the country the food habits today you see you do you think schools are not teaching them about value of food but what happens 
they know very well what is a good food what is carrot what is this has vitamin protein everything but they want to eat junk food why because they've got into wrong habits and wrong practices they don't realize and our country has got 30% of under 12 year old children obese obese that is a major problem in our country obesity is a problem how can a nation grow that's why we are still developing nation because we did not realize our own worth our own value systems and we missed it so that is why this chinmaya vision program is respect other cultures that is the last one the universal outlook is do not you don't want you to sit here ah america me sab gadbad hoti hai wo log sab badmash hai wo sab no not like that respect their culture also respect there are so many beautiful things in their culture look at that like them see in the schools and colleges so much of communication is very strong in their universities and colleges they have a strong system of communication they have strong system of doing research and all of that so you encourage that not only that we worship everything reverse we say mother ganga is there any country who says that mother ganga no mountains we worship himalayas we worship so this is a beautiful thing why you know our our people had this beautiful way of doing things when you worship something you will not pollute the universal issues of water pollution and all the, the depleting energy everything is because complete not seeing the divinity in that if you have divine thing for a river will you go on dirty it you are worshiping will you do harm to your mother that was our culture and also they brought it universal issues they said let us take care of trees we worship tulsi there's so many beautiful things in our culture so this is about the cvp program more and more i talk about it i see more and more this is what is needed in our education system i mean now recognize cbsc is asking us to do me workshops for other people and we have started getting into that so please see that we are not wasting your time this three days you are going to get a complete insight into a new wonderful world of chinmaya vision program which you can implementable also so that is about it so that is what we are going to go through and talk. currently we have our swami swarupananda ji is the chairman and we have uh, other people in the education cell they are all zonal directors now we have some shrinath ji also looking after the colleges and we have this and what do we do we conduct a lot of assessment for colleges also we started doing assessments but the pandemic time it has got stopped maybe we'll review it after we reopen we go and see whether the administration is good in the colleges whether they are or provident fund is got good or whether they are paying taxes properly whether they have licenses for the software they use whether they have the conformity building license everything is important gurudev never told us to do anything wrong his vision is very clear we stand on the right do what is right so that is what we see and in the vision we also say there's one college coming up there one college school coming up here they can drive it in their own way we ensure gurudev's vision is there we will be visiting the colleges also and we will be taking it forward academic assessments also we provide and give guidance to the colleges we have a lot and lots of resource materials you have the cvp manuals are there we have swamini amma's books are called as indian culture why do we do do you know it we don't know we can't blame children do you know why we keep a tikka here no why we do pradakshina no why do we ring a bell in a temple when you are doing puja we don't know so how do we children believe today children wants answers they want logically looking at it amma why are you ringing the bell in the puja time you have anything to say that is the reason and this book provides all of that it gives you a vision of why in indian culture why we do whatever whatever we are doing it is there how agni is worship when you do the gayatri stotram om bhur boswa we are ask getting requesting surya bhagavan to bless us with that effulgence my intellect be as sharp as a sun's rays of uh, powerful that is what we are praying for so all that is put in this books we have our uh, life and aradhana is a value book series we have written for the schools and we have the leap book for all the colleges most of the colleges are not utilizing i am very happy the palakkad colleges are taking it forward very nicely we are having a session by swamini amma she has accepted oh colleges i will come and address them i think on the 18th first session swamini amma is going to talk about the leap book after this program take it up it is not about money or anything the book may cost 300 rupees or something but it has got that gold is in that book of values you know how to teach mathematics and sciences because you have studied your maybe doctorates are there in this and uh, your post graduates are there but value is a given for completely a new game for all of us it's a new ball game we need to know it if you know the nuances you will do it i'm sure you are all excellently good people good attitude but you need to know the nuances of how doing it so that leap book offers that 
I don't know why the colleges have not introduced it. We need to think about it and introduce it also. And we give a lot of scholarships also for college students. Also, we are giving scholarships. Two scholarships per student is given every year. We don't receive applications properly from colleges. So talk about it. I think the principal, that's why I said, let us call all the teachers and do it. Go and ask your principal. If there is a deserving student who is doing well, we can give up to 25,000 rupees scholarship is given to students. Schools are all taking it in a very, very big way. No school misses it, but colleges. I got one application from one of the Tripunitra College or Trishur College. I've not got even for this year. Already the last date was uh, 30th of September, but we have not got. But we'll extend the date. Please, you want to take this benefit, please take the benefit. The scholarship forms are in our website. You have to take it. You're not even aware of it. I want you to take it. And kind of scholarship that we have received, 100, 120 children get scholarships every year from the schools and the colleges. Last year, we gave four students from colleges applied and we gave it to them. So this year also, I'm ex inviting all of you to apply for scholarships. You don't have to do anything. There is a form which you have to apply showing the academic background of the child and the needy income is not good for the parent. That's what we need to know. And then we will give scholarship up to 25 thousand rupees depending on the fees of the college we extend this every year please you don't know what is education cell doing that is why this first session awareness program and what is the amount spent 25 lakhs is spent for the education cell only for the scholarships and this year we are going to spend a little more than that because pandemic time some parents have lost their jobs and all of that so we are expecting the money amount to go up to 50 lakhs this time Spending that money from the fee, which is collected from the membership fee, we do all of this every year. And we keep conducting training programs, maths teachers workshop, English teachers workshop, and the new teachers orientation program. And we can take it up for the colleges also. And service is the value that is Gurudev's vision is children should serve the society. Jnanam, Sheva, Chakaushalam. That is the, is, the, is the very purpose for all the education institutions. Knowledge, service, and the efficiency. Service means we think that some, if I say drive for old clothes, people will give torn clothes to the people. No, efficiently, you should give something which is deserved to be shared with the people. So this is the logo. We conduct service activities. We have a Think Big Think Chinmaya happened when Swami Sorupanandaji addressed 10,000 students addressed online. We want to do it once for the college also. We'll be doing that where we can online session that children ask questions and good Swamiji answers them and we have all kinds of camps and uh, workshops film making workshops we have a Bala Sevak award for children taking up service activities and we signed up a program with the government and we conducted a drug demand program you you, you imagine government thinks Chinmaya mission can give values to children so they invited us, can you conduct a drug awareness program to colleges? It was funded by the government of India and we went and conducted, we almost reached 50, 60 schools, around 5,000 children were educated, created an awareness program. We went to some colleges also, we conducted these programs and we, uh, there's a team of 85 trainers with us, we go on, uh, along with us to help this. And this is another very beautiful program. We ask teachers to take up research program and they are in your service. College teachers can also can take it up. You take up a small research and then submit the papers to us. We give an award call such as some show then award given to the teachers. I want you to participate. Not one research papers come from the colleges because you are not aware. I'm not blaming any of you, but you hardly know anything. What is the Chinmaya education movement about? You can see they take up the how to strengthen 21st century in schools how to teach value education to college students five of you get together you form a group we have a pattern how to do it it's not like a doctorate degree but it is a very beautiful research which will be utilized for your improving in our colleges we need to take i'm going to do a session on some show then sometimes next week for interested college teachers we will take it up separately we talk for that and we love give a lot of awards to school colleges and schools in the Gaurav Award. If somebody is achieving something, you let us know at the national level, we give them as a Chinmaya Alankar Award to students. And if teachers are doing something fantastic, let us know we give them Chinmaya Alankar Award. I'm an awardee, Gaurav Awardee, because I got a national award from the government of India. So our Guru, Guruji gave me an award, Gaurav Award gave me. It's just a prestige for us to receive from the Chinmaya Mission doing that. All of this are there. And where are we now? We have uh, uh, nine colleges, 94 schools, 
86 in India and 8 in Trinidad and 103 education institutions. You belong to a big family. Remember that you are part of this global family. Don't think that colleges are different, schools are different. No, you are. we are embracing you as a part of the Chinmaya family. Together, we can do wonders. We have five black alumni Chinmaya mission. As And this is a beautiful website where we have a lot of content in there. If your colleges need any content on values or value-based education or anything, we can share, give you a user ID and password, and we can share this with you also. So this is all about the Chinmaya education cell. I've exceeded five minutes. I'm supposed to finish at 9, 10, 15. Uh, but I, I, did you get a hang of it? What is your feel about after the end of the session? I want you to give me a feel. Put it in the chat box. What do you feel about it after the end of my session here? Do you feel being a part of a big family? Or so, if some of you feel, my God, I did not know any of this. Do you feel that you put it there? So it will. it is also blaming for us that we have not conducted more workshops and time with all of you. Yes. Yeah, you're feeling proud being a part of the Chinmaya family. You are a very beautiful member of a global family, Chinmaya Mission family, which is running in so many centers across the world and across the country. Yes. So think about it. You know, wherever I go, I have my daughter staying in abroad, US and Canada. Wherever I go, I visit the Chinmaya Mission Center. I say, I'm a Chinmaya teacher. And then they, oh, wow, you're coming from our family. That's how they look up to it. And it's such a beautiful feeling to be a part of the, and we have in our Chinmaya International School, every year, children are taken for excursion. We take them to one of the Chinmaya Center. We take them to SIF, we take them to Siddhabadi, we take them to, um, in our ashrams in different places. They also do some sightseeing, but they become a completely that. So this, this is an induction program for all of you to be a part of the Chinmaya family. Don't think you are a one, I am a teacher, college lecturer in Tripunitura in one corner of Kerala. No, you belong to this world famous Chinmaya mission organization. We have centers across the world and you are a part of them. So with that feeling, let us get into the learning of the CVP, uh, the, the, the CVP uh, aspects. There are seven aspects. You are going to go through all the seven aspects. Thank you so much. You are kind of endorsing that you really feel good about it. You need to know. You know, it's, it's something like this. You know, sometimes we ask our father, mother, apka father konta, apka grandfather konta, like that. So the, here is a very beautiful family. You need to know about it. You read about it. I've given you a glimpse, a tip of the iceberg only I've given. There's treasure beneath that. You can take part and get to know about it without taking much of your time. We give you a break. You have a session next session at 10.35. Instead of 10.30, we'll give you five minutes extra. Relax yourself. Have a glass of water. Whenever you're in between sessions, take some water that does good to you. Don't leave the session. Stay on the session. But uh, you can just go out, have a glass of water or a cup of tea, come back. We are going to have the most enterprising uh, Swamiji, Swami Anukulananda going to take you through the need for Chinmaya Vision program. That's the first session. I said about the mission. Now he's going to tell you what is the need? What is the necessity for such an uh, important program, which is the backbone of Chinmaya Education Center. Okay. Thank you all so much. I enjoy doing this session with you. We'll meet more often. We'll interact more often. Thank you.